Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I'm here with a little bit of an unboxing video. I'm actually doing two things in one here. I'm testing a new lav mic kit that I just got, which is actually wireless. So let me know how it sounds in the comment section down below. What we're gonna be doing today is unboxing a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B starter kit. Now this is the A-Box Raspberry Pi 3 Model B start kit. And I already opened this up, I'm not gonna lie, and I looked inside it, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out and see what we have in store. Because I've always wanted a Raspberry Pi, but really never could justify the investment because I didn't know 100% what I would use it for. But I decided, hey, might as well reach out, get somebody to send one over, and then ask you all if there's something that you'd be interested in seeing on the channel involving a Raspberry Pi. So how about we just get into the unboxing real quick. So I really like the box design on this thing. This is actually a very well presented box for a Raspberry Pi. I like the digital design and everything. Just something about this really is appealing and I like the presentation that they went with. So if we open up the box, inside we have three little boxes. And we'll go ahead and start with this right here. This is the Raspberry Pi itself. Very obvious and self-explanatory. This is the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. And if we open it up, you'll see the Raspberry Pi. And for those who aren't familiar with the Raspberry Pi, which is very unlikely for people who are on this channel, the Raspberry Pi is a mini computer that runs a version of Linux. Well, it depends on what version you install. You can run different light versions of Windows or whatever you really want on this thing. But it's basically a mini computer that you can do whatever you really want to. You can have this run as like a NAS. You can have it run a bunch of different things. There's a bunch of retro OSs you can put on this thing to where some people actually make like um, arcade boxes out of it, which is something we're going to be doing with another Raspberry Pi on the channel for sure. But I got this one because I thought it'd be pretty cool to just mess around and see what kind of stuff I can make with this little guy. Because as you can tell, with its size and form factor, the possibilities are almost endless on what you can do with this little PCB. Now the Raspberry Pi 3 is a quad core design chip, which is really interesting because it could offer a lot more performance compared to other models. Now this has been out for a while and it has expressed my interest, so I'm just very excited to actually get it in house to play with. And I think I might end up using this for my first ever in-home NAS solution. We're gonna see what kind of operating system we could throw on this thing and maybe, just maybe, we can get away with doing a decent NAS solution or use something like own cloud and make a personal cloud for people to be able to access. So it could actually be really cool what we can actually do with this thing. You do get an included HDMI cable, which again is a nice bonus. And also you get an included power adapter, which normally if you buy the Raspberry Pi separately, you do have to pick this stuff up on its own. And a power adapter is, well, pretty much essential. It allows you to run your Raspberry Pi off power. And as you can tell in here, we open it up. Part, oh, it's a card reader. Okay, so this little guy is a Type-C card reader. Interesting, okay, I'll see what more about that later. But if you go inside this wrapping, you can tell this is the power adapter, if I can get it open without making a ton of noise. Inside here we have the actual power adapter which powers this thing and it runs off a micro USB cable. So you really could get anything like a cell phone charger power adapter and have a micro USB. But the benefit of something like this, if you can tell, it comes with a inline power switch which is really handy because you would have to basically unplug and do hard resets if you didn't have this option, or you would have to pick up an alternate power switch to be able to do something like this. So it's a really cool addition to get these with kits, and it's why I really recommend if you get a Raspberry Pi to go ahead and spend the extra 10 or $20 to get a full kit like this one. So we'll go ahead and put all this to the side, and then we'll open up the last few items that are in the box. This right here is actually a case for the Raspberry Pi, which you can buy a bunch of different cases on Amazon or different locations and you can actually get a pretty good looking case or one that adds a bunch of functionality to it. So it's really personal preference. You really don't need a case, but it's cool to have one. So what we have right here is a basic black Raspberry Pi case with a little Raspberry Pi logo. Not a huge fan of it because it is a very glossy plastic, as you can tell. It is gonna scratch up really bad, but it is a case, and it allows you to store your Raspberry Pi very snugly. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly how to install this thing. I know I'm probably doing this totally wrong, and I'll probably mess with this off camera a little bit, but, um, I don't know. It's not wanting to go on easily. It's not the most well put together case. I see, I get it on right here, but then it doesn't go on all the way from this one corner. 
but you know, it's functional. It does the job. Once I get everything on, as you can tell, you'll have it all lined up properly, but I don't think I have it lined up the correct way. I'll probably just fool with it off camera and get it in there. But again, it's a plastic case that does fit your Raspberry Pi. And all you gotta do is put the little lid on right here and you have something that's a little bit more stealthy and it protects it from maybe like an electrostatic discharge issue or something of that nature. So overall, this kit for $69 really seems to be a decent value. Now, there are ones that are around the same price that can get you similar items. They all seem to be somewhat the same in terms of this price range, but I really like the presentation of this one, the included HDMI cable, all these accessories for $70 in total for a really awesome little piece of technology that you can actually do a lot with. Now, if you have any personal recommendations of projects that I should do with the Raspberry Pi, leave them in the comment section down below. I'm very interested to hear what you all might want me to do with it because I will either want to do a personal cloud or a NAS solution. And we have another one of these that we're possibly going to be doing a retro arcade build using. So if you're interested in anything like that, comment down below. We really want to get into some tinkering type videos and not just focus mainly on PC hardware reviews, do some fun stuff like this. And I think you all enjoy it because I know we definitely will. So if you haven't already, leave a like down below and comment what you think. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment pie down below and let me know what your favorite install is on a Raspberry Pi or whatever you like to do on a Raspberry Pi if you have one of your own. And be sure to subscribe for more content from the Toasty Bros. Follow us on Twitter for more behind the scenes. Join our Discord community and I hope to see you all in the next one, guys. Peace out.